And now for our Commitment 2016 coverage. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders held a town hall rally in Salem today. His campaign estimates 1,000 people came to see him. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live now with more on what Sanders had to say. And Stephanie, hundreds packed into Woodbury School Gym and overflow rooms to hear the senator speak. Sanders spoke in broad terms about expanding health care and social security, but he also laid out some specifics on policy. Hundreds were on their feet for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders inside Woodbury School Gym in Salem. It was his biggest rally in New Hampshire. This, I believe, is the largest turnout that we have had. Thank you. Among those who spoke before Sanders, the co founder of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream. Every political revolution has been about the power of huge numbers of people overcoming the moneyed interests. The Democratic presidential hopeful says people are catching on to his message. When Wall Street collapsed, they went begging to the middle class of this country to bail them out. Now it is their turn to help the middle class of this country. Sanders says the minimum wage of $7.25 an hour isn't cutting it for some trying to make a living. We need to raise the federal minimum wage over a period of a few years to $15 an hour. He laid out his vision to rebuild America's infrastructure. A five-year trillion dollar program rebuilding our infrastructure and creating up to 13 million decent bank jobs. Ian says the country needs the best educated workforce to succeed. Every public college and university in America will be tuition free. Since Sanders began his campaign a few months ago, he's connected with voters, appealing to their frustration with Washington. Everything he says are things that we were looking for in the past and didn't see in a candidate. He is in it for us. It seems to be that way because it is grassroots and it's being funded by the people. When people stand together, we can transform America, and that is what this campaign is about.